Meghan's father is deeply embarrassed and will apologize for paparazzi photo storm says his son. But he will walk his daughter down the aisle. Thomas Markle will still walk his daughter down the aisle on Saturday, despite revelations that he posed for pictures taken by a paparazzi photographer. His son, Thomas Jr., has said his father plans to apologize to Meghan Markle for the stunt that has left him and his family deeply embarrassed. Last night Kensington Palace was silent about claims that Miss Markle's father had secretly collaborated to stage a series of faked photographs in the run-up to the royal wedding. Yet Thomas Jr. said his father will apologize to both Miss Markle and Prince Harry privately for the pictures, but jumped to his father's defense saying that the family have been under intense pressure since the royal couple's engagement. The palace refused to comment on the allegations, but it is understood there is no change to plans for Mr. Markle to walk the bride down the aisle of St. George's Chapel on Saturday. Both Prince Harry and Miss Markle however, are likely to be embarrassed by the revelations that Mr. Markle secretly posed for pictures showing him being measured for his wedding suit and browsing articles about his daughter and the Queen's grandson in an internet cafe. Yesterday the Mail on Sunday reported that Mr. Markle, 73, an award-winning former Hollywood lighting director who now lives a reclusive life in Mexico, had worked with U.S.-based photographer, Jeff Rayner, to set up the lucrative photo deal. CCTV footage showed Mr. Markle arriving at an internet cafe with the photographer. Minutes later the pair are seen preparing to snap the future royal's father while he is sitting at a computer. A Mail on Sunday investigation established that the internet cafe pictures are just part of a series Rayner took of Meghan's father. They have been published in newspapers, magazines and on websites around the world. Mr. Markle and Rayner, a 44-year-old Los Angeles-based photographer, reportedly set up at least four photo shoots. In all of them Mr. Markle appears to be unaware they are being taken and yet they were in fact contrived and shot with his cooperation. It is not known whether Mr. Markle was paid for his involvement, but the photographs are said to have sold for £100,000 across the world. The disclosure came after warnings to the media from Kensington Palace about alleged harassment by photographers of both Miss Markle's parents. Shortly after his relationship with Meghan became public in 2016, the prince made a heartfelt plea for the media to respect the privacy of Meghan and her family. Privately there was some concern last night over Mr. Markle's ability to cope with the pressure of this week's royal wedding. It is understood that he has long struggled to handle the immense global interest in his daughter's romance. Thomas Jr. told the Mirror, People are quick to judge but they have no idea how much scrutiny we live under. Ever since Meg's relationship with Harry was made public two years ago we have lived our once normal lives under the spotlight every second. And he is said to be feeling significant stress about this week's events, which will see him travel to the UK, take tea with the Queen and meet up with Meghan's mother, his ex-wife Doria Ragland. Standing room only. Meghan and Harry's wedding feast will not be a seated affair as it's revealed trendy bowl food will be served as guests mingle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not have a sit-down wedding breakfast after their ceremony on Saturday, but have plumped for trendy bowl food instead. Their 600 guests will be standing up in St. George's Hall at Windsor Castle when they are served seasonal mini main courses, made by the Queen's kitchen staff and presented to them by liveried waiters and waitresses. Bowl food has become a popular choice for business events because it is more sociable, allowing guests to mingle and network while eating. However, it is a somewhat more surprising choice for a royal wedding. Still, Harry and Meghan hope that it will make the occasion less fussy and allow them to move around the room greeting as many guests as possible. Guests will also feast on canapes during the lunchtime reception, which will last around two and a half hours and includes speeches and cutting of the cake. Each morsel has been crafted to be consumed in just two delicate bites. The Queen is officially hosting the event and Buckingham Palace staff revealed that the menu would comprise classic dishes made from seasonal British produce, much from the monarch's own estates. Harry and his bride-to-be have tasted and selected their wedding reception menu. The couple apparently visited Windsor Castle to sample menu suggestions in the Great Kitchen which dates from the reign of the 14th century monarch Edward III. It is believed to be the oldest working kitchen in the country, having served more than 30 monarchs. Royal chef Mark Flanagan is leading the 30-strong catering team and said, The day of the wedding has fallen very kindly for us. All the British vegetables are just coming into season. And that's been a point of focus for us. We know the couple wanted us to make sure we used all of the local seasonal produce as much as possible throughout their menu and this recent good weather is really helping us to achieve that. He added the couple have been involved in every detail. Megan is a keen foodie who used to run her own lifestyle website, which featured her favorite recipes and restaurants. She also shares a love of organic produce with her future father-in-law, Prince Charles. Mr. Flanagan would not discuss the dishes in detail but produce such as asparagus, peas and tomatoes are in season, providing a wealth of options for the chef, who has worked with some of the world's best, including Michelle and Albert True. He added, there's no experimentation on Saturday whatsoever, tried and tested and predominantly classics. 
Over the next few days staff will start washing and peeling vegetables, so they can save time for presentation, Mr. Flanagan said. A separate dinner for 200 is being held at Frogmore House by the Prince of Wales later in the evening.